Hurry, come, there's been a disaster. Welcome to a behind the scenes look of a day in our schoolie build, reorganization edition. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Recording in progress! We haven't just had one bus, we've had three, which means we've accumulated a lot of stuff. So today, we're gonna be reorganizing this entire bus to give us a better workable space. Let's start by making a to-do list. To do. Unbox Anchor Solex. String Lights. Sort Wood. Organize Bins Clean Plus Charge Tools. Vacuum Plus Trash Disposal. Wow, it is hard to write on this. La, 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 la. That's how you get stuff done. Let's get started. We chose the Anchor Solex F2000 because it has all the power we would ever need in an emergency. With its built-in TT30 RV port, we could plug our bus directly into the unit. And the unit itself charges incredibly fast, reaching zero to 80% in just an hour. Wow, it looks beautiful. Now that we unbox our Anchor Solex, we're gonna use it to power up all the things we need to get done today. To be able to work, we need light. So let's string our lights. The Anchor Solex actually has an amazing built-in light, but it's just not enough to power our entire bus. So let's hang these instead and use our Anchor to power them. We originally bought halogen work lights and realized quickly just how hot they get. So we switched to LEDs and are so happy with their light capacity and energy saving efficiency. Now that we got all these babies strung up, we're ready to turn them on so we can get to work. One of my favorite features about the Anchor Solex is the fact that it's on wheels and has this amazing easy tow handle so I can get this thing to the back of the bus with ease. And that's done. With all the projects we've completed on this bus so far, we've just accumulated a large collection of wood. Most of this is scrap, but some of it can be recycled, so we're gonna figure out what's what right now. Here is everything we will be keeping. On this side, we will be discarding everything appropriately, which means we can check off another thing on our to-do list. Let's keep going. There's so much random stuff in these bins. I don't even know how they're organized anymore or what's in them. So let's take some inventory, get rid of all the stuff we're not using and make these workable for us. so I'm sure it doesn't look like we did much. But basically, we got rid of all the unnecessary stuff, all the trash within this, and reorganized it so now it's easy to find everything. We have like all of our screws here, safety gear, we organize our toolbox, we have all of our big tools right here, tapes, adhesives, cleaning stuff. So now it's so much easier to be able to find stuff whenever we need to locate it. Which means we have organized our bins. The most important thing for us to complete today to get our bus in working order is to make sure all of our tools are charged. If they're not, we're not really gonna get very far on this project. So I'm gonna take some time to make sure all of our power tools are charged up and clean them because boy, are they dirty. The Anchor Solex F2000 has long lasting life PO4 batteries that will remain healthy for up to 3000 charge cycles. And the unit itself is extremely durable and impact resistant, making this the perfect battery for off-grid living. Done, 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 done. Clean and charge tools. Done. Now we're gonna move on to vacuum and trash. Good thing we have a 40 foot bus to lug all of our trash around in. Let's go get rid of it. Because of daylight savings, it's 5.30 
and dark outside, but luckily we have our anchor and the string lights we hung up earlier so we can work into the night. Let's finish our final task, which is clean. Black Friday is now. Click the link in our description to save up to $1,200 on Anchor Solex products, get free gifts, and enter a lucky draw. is definitely not always about making progress and it's not always 60 second vertical videos showing everything that gets done we always are doing this behind the scenes work and we wanted to make this video to show you guys all of the extra things we have to do to make this build possible even though we got no progress done today everything we did allowed us to move forward smoothly and easily without hassle thanks to our anchor solex we were able to power everything that happened today and work well into the night uninterrupted so thank you anchor for sponsoring this post as always thank you guys for tuning in and stay tuned for more jess and jake see you later bye